everybody welcome back to another grilling video and today we are making a wonderful side dish it's a fun name to say as well it's smoked baba ganoush baba ganoush is nothing more than roasted eggplant with some tahini and garlic and seasoning in it absolutely delicious for dipping pita bread in you can have it as a side but it's absolutely a vegetarian dish for most mediterraneans so you want anywhere from three to five pounds of eggplants if you're gonna to try to feed a family of just this vegetarian meal. We're making this as a side dish, so I only have three of these. That's gonna be more than enough. The first thing you wanna do is pierce your eggplants with a few holes. We do that because as we begin roasting them, what we don't wanna do is chance opening up the grill, going to grab them with the tongs and having them open and, and spray out any liquid at you that burn you. That's also gonna help dry them out a little bit inside. Once these do pierce open as we cook them, they'll dry out. It's exactly what we want. We want this to be a nice roasted, smoky, um, fairly dry inner. Other ingredients, pretty simple. We're going to be using some olive oil for our uh, emulsion. We're going to be using garlic. I love garlic and baba ganoush. Um, you definitely want to chop it very, very fine because it's going to be in its raw form. And then we're going to use tahini. And tahini, fancy name for um, sesame seeds. That's it. <laughs> Broken down sesame seeds. So, this is going to be good stuff. Let's go ahead and get these pierced and we'll get them on the smoker. Now it really is as simple as just using some kind of a, a fork uh, and we want to poke a few holes in these. Not too many. What we really want to do is just allow a place for some of the steam and air to come out so that we don't potentially hurt ourselves when we go to pick these up or flip them over or test them. Um, what you do not want to have happen is for this to, you know, pop uh, a little bit more abruptly than you might have been thinking otherwise. Now it's just a matter of getting these guys in the smoker. Now what we want to do is open this up. We've got it about 225 degrees. I think it's going to take anywhere from 35 minutes to an hour and 15. That's what my gut tells me. And we're just going to go ahead and put these guys right here on the top shelf. Now you might ask yourself, why are we doing this on the top shelf? And the answer is pretty simple. We just want to keep these from getting too scorched from the fire pot down below. And we do have the fire pot closed, so we think it'll be okay, but you can do these on the bottom as well probably be just fine. Now I'm just going to go ahead and close this down and we'll let these go. All right, so while these guys are going, we have a little bit of time to kill. I'm just going to go ahead and prep my garlic. Now, I like a lot of garlic in these. I think baba ganoush tends to have a pretty mild taste. And if you like garlic, it's a great way to go ahead and get some flavor into this guy. I'm probably going to use, I'm going to say six or so of these, of these cloves. I think that's probably makes sense. So we're just going to do this in the classic sort of garlic way. What we want to do is use the butt end of our knife, give it a little pound, and it smashes down the garlic, and that allows us to much easier pull the skin off the outside of it. And remember, we really want these things to be chopped very, very fine. You could grate them, you could put them in a food processor if you wanted, but I think I'm just going to chop them. I like the taste of garlic, so we'll have it in there. But just keep in mind, it's going to be almost raw. Take our garlic clove here, lay down the fat end of the knife, give it a little pound, and then it should be real easy to just open this guy right up, peel all the skin off of it. It gives you the fresh garlic exposed right down in the center there, and there we have it. And now it really is just a matter of giving these guys a nice little fine chop. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. All right, with our garlic all broken up, I'll get a little bowl. We'll go put this inside and we'll let that eggplant finish roasting. We'll see you back here in about 30 minutes. All right, I'll tell you, it's two hours later. These things took way longer than I thought they were going to. I think my lesson learned in all this is they needed to be up at a slightly higher temperature. This is what we really want them to look like. I'm going to take them off of here and then show you how they, how they look. Let's go ahead and cut these open. We're going to scoop out all of the, uh, the, the meat from the flesh. And the nice thing is, when you get these nice and done, the meat just scoops right out of there. There we go. Show you one of these up close. And by poking the holes in these, what we've done was we've really let the, uh, the moisture come out of them a little bit, which is good. They're a little bit moist, but not too much. Put all that right in a bowl. 
Now poking the holes in the outer skin is what allowed us to get this uh, a little bit drier than it might have been otherwise. And ideally, you want this nice and dry, so I'm going to hold off on putting this in. You can also just sift this out in like a cheesecloth, though I'm not going to do that. Now, I was saying before, I didn't think I was going to go ahead and strain this, but you can see the liquid in there. We definitely want this to be drier, so I'm going to just use a small uh, strainer here. You could also do this in like a cheesecloth and um, strain it out that way, but I'm getting quite a bit of, of uh, liquid coming out of this, so you'll see I'm just going to press this in here a little bit and we're going to let a lot of that liquid drain off of there. I'm just going to use the back of a spoon here and let some of that dry right on through there. All right, this is looking a little better here. I'm actually a little surprised at just how much liquid came out of this. There's a good quarter of a cup down there, so I'm glad I did that. Yes, that just burned me in the side of the head. Holy kind of banana. That's hot. Don't do that. All right, so it's time to go ahead and add in some tahini. We want about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons per two to three eggplant. It's not an exact measurement here for sure, it's about what we're wanting to put in. That's as good as the measurement I can get. I am going to warn you ahead of time, though. Tahini does not sit well on the shelf. You have to make sure you mix it up. And when it's a full jar, it's not real easy. So the liquid will come to the top, and it's going to become a thick paste down below. When you, when you get it mixed up pretty well, it's going to be a, a sort of runny liquid. That's what you want to have happen. I've got me a teaspoon right there. I'm going to do one more of those, and then a third one. So about a tablespoon here for this amount. We'll see how well that looks. Leave that aside there. And we're just going to start mixing this up. Now, I'm going to be mixing this by hand. You can use a food processor if you'd like. Just know that if you do, you're going to end up with a fairly... Um, creamy texture and I actually like it to have a little bit of that eggplant texture in it, a little bit of that stringiness of the eggplant. I think that's kind of a nice thing about a baba ganoush. I'm gonna go get my garlic that we made earlier and I'm gonna put that in before I start adding in my olive oil. And the olive oil is gonna help create an emulsion. Now we could have removed the seeds but I like the seeds in this. I think eggplant seeds are gonna be good for this. I'm just making sure that the stringy parts of the eggplant are broken down. I don't want big chunks of eggplant. I just want it to be this sort of nice texture, and it'll get a little bit more emulsified here in a few minutes. And you can see here what we've got. It's broken down pretty nice. We've got our tahini in there. I think I'm going to do another teaspoon of the tahini. Maybe a teaspoon and a half. It's a good flavor for that. I'm now going to go ahead and add in all of this garlic that we made earlier. I'm just going to use my tahini spoon for that. And that is quite a bit, but this is going to be a good garlic flavor. Mix this around real good. Once we get that incorporated, we're now going to start to put in some of our olive oil. Do yourself a favor, use a good olive oil for this. I'm going to just put in a couple of tablespoons here, and then we're going to start mixing this up. Now, don't be worried about mixing this too much. You really won't do that. You're wanting to mix it fast. And we're trying to create a bit of an emulsion, make this almost a little bit of a creamier texture. All right, that's looking pretty good. I think I'm going to do that one more time, a little bit more olive oil, another tablespoon or so. It's just looking pretty good. Again, we just want to really mix this up well. Feel free to use a food processor or a blender. I just like the texture where it doesn't quite just look like a thin paste. I think this is looking pretty good here. All right, it's time to give this a little bit of a shot, and we'll go grab some pita and try it on that. Mm. It's rich and garlicky. Wow, is it garlicky. It's very garlicky. I probably used too much garlic. That would be good with one or two more eggplant in it, but I like the garlic taste. Man, that is good. 
There you go. It's a beautiful, nice baba ganoush with a little olive oil on top. Well, there you saw it. It looks phenomenal. And if we just go ahead and put a little bit of this right onto our cracker, have pitas. They're just not here yet. They're on their way. And I want to try some. So having it on a Ritz cracker. Hmm. It really is good. Baba ganoush is a wonderful vegetarian meal. You can make it up for yourself. Dip pita bread in it. Just absolutely delicious. I will say that was a little bit too much garlic. But I love garlic. So a garlic baba ganoush is just fine with me. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed another grilling video. Baba ganoush, smoked eggplant on the pit boss. That is good stuff. Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling. We'll see you next week.